And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got Power Expansion Part 2, but you can't exactly call it Part 2, though, because we're going to be getting these on like a weekly basis, which, guys, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Three thoughts from Power Up Expansions being as part of Madden. Now, let me, let me explain this in depth. So, first part, from my Madden point of view, like, super cool. Gonna give me an opportunity to play with a lot of different cards that prior to, we might not have had. They might not have, they might not have been great enough to actually be, like, a part of the meta. Like, let's say, say a guy like Ezekiel Elliott, who maybe only had a 96 Easter card, and you were like, you know, I'm a big Cowboys fan. I really love Zeke, but that card just ain't it. I'd much rather have Saquon or Barry or any of the other guys. So they do, power up expansion Zeke. Which means that now, you can power him up all the way to 98, pretty much 99, and he might be usable now. So pretty much, I'm, I call this like the finish it program, or the finish it promo, and like the forgotten promo. Pretty much all the cards who were forgotten all year and never really got fit into promos and never really got the love they deserved, they're just finishing them for you right now. Giving you a chance to like, any, but that's cool though, because see, what we worried about early in the year, was whether or not like oh don't power this guy up you might not get many more cards but if they start doing this every year power up whatever the hell you want because at the end of the day they're all gonna be 98 by the end of the year so it really just depends on if he keeps going but so far it's been pretty cool now second thought like i said it's kind of embarrassing it kind of just seems like they forgot to put a lot of people in promos and they're just making up for it right now and third thought guys let's get into this uh i think it's pretty cool was this week the greatest week for new cards possibly not but we gotta check them out and see what you guys think first and of course see the stats but before we get into the video going down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, go down below in the comments and let me know what you think of these cards. Now, personally, like I said, I'm actually excited for this promo, for this program I typically enjoy. I am enjoying this, actually, because like I said, once they start dropping even better players, like Bowman was cool, but obviously there's potential for more, but let's get over to the screenshots to check them out. Over on the screenshot, as you guys can see right here, these are the six players that will be receiving a power-up expansion, um, like unlocked attributes i'm gonna start calling it like they were their, their potential was unlocked david carr andrew norwell micah hyde jason mccourney joe Jeriv jervicius i think and lofa tatapu top to tapu i don't know so who here am i excited for so david carr 98 overall personally not my cup of tea but if you are a texans fan and you don't like deshaun watson could be a decent theme team quarterback uh, Andrew Norwell, honestly great first off, Jaguars team team, got a great lineman, and in general, it's gonna be a 98 overall lineman, let's say you have Norwell powered up as a backup, because a lot of guys this year have kept backups just for like hems, you could just now power pass him with the training, and ironically, he could be the best left guard in your team, Micah Hyde, again, a good free safety and a Bill's team team, personally, I don't know if I'd go with him, Micah Hyde is infamous for having low hit power, not the fast, but he has great coverage, so it really just depends, but on Bill's team team, he's gonna be super fast, so you can always give him a chance, Jason McCourty, Again, now you're over a cornerback, not bad, especially on a Patriots theme team, or I believe even on a Texans theme team. So, I thought, sorry, not Texans, Titans. So, it really just depends, again, on if you're a theme team or if you actually want them. But again, their stats might actually be competitive. At least I know the stats yet, so I can't go off that. Joe Jervisius, I believe he's super tall. So, if they give him the right stats, if he can get like a 98 speed with his height, he could be super, super solid. I'm pretty sure he's tall. And Lofa Tatapu. Middle linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks. We have to see what his speed looks like. Could be a decent user. Again, I'm still looking for a linebacker across that 92 speed threshold. Next, we got a picture of Micah Hyde. 98 overall. Um, that's his Thanksgiving card art. I guess they're using it based off their last card art that he had. So yeah, Micah Hyde's a perfect example of a guy who got a uh, Thanksgiving 91 overall card and then never saw the field again. So that's great, especially for any Bills fans. And guys, this is going to be the greatest way to complete theme teams. Like, for like, like literally they start doing this for most players who had cards and didn't finish them so let's say you had like a giants team team and the last card they dropped that wide receiver was maybe a low overall Darius slayton or maybe whatever or or even daniel jones and they decided we're gonna give him a we're gonna give him a power expansion now daniel jones is 99 or 98 plus camps 99 so that could be a really cool way to start completing theme teams like a bill team on defense got 99 overall safety after he gets his camps compared to what he was before which is like a 91 so this is actually super cool in my opinion I actually really like, like, again, obviously, if you look at it, like, in retrospect, and you really think about it, it's probably just being super lazy here, and just completing a bunch of things that they forgot to do all year, but to look at it from a non-negative standpoint, it's still cool, no matter how you look at it. Navarro Bowman was awesome, like, I really want to pick him up, and then they're also, they also drop these in the solo, any new ones in solos, I believe, I don't know if they'll drop these, because they're old, 
the only they'll only do the new ones but if they do drop the old ones too it'd be pretty cool but those aren't that expensive as it is so will they go up in price possibly guys if you have their power-ups you could sell them if you don't feel like having them because you obviously caught it. it costs a lot of trains to get them up obviously it's not free but it gives you the opportunity because beforehand it was either 91 mica hide or that's it you have no better free safety on a bill steam team so i do like that we have the opportunity moving on to the next thing is his stats so let's see his stats so he's got a 92 speed by the way six feet tall which is a decent height for free safety it's not too big not too small somewhere just right between 93 xl and so far from first glance not that athletic now with sprinter and john madden he will get a 95 speed which isn't good enough it, at this point in the year it just isn't you need 98 speed 99 speed to safety so like i said on a bill steam team he is fine on my team he will not work so he's not one of those guys for me personally 83 tackle way too low especially with the run meta 93 99 play rec amazing 92 pursuits kind of low too as well 90 man's amazing on a bill steam team i'm pretty sure with john madden passing and zone and man uh lockdown you could probably get this guy up to like a 98 97 coverage plus 99 zone already but his man's still gonna suck regardless of what you do oh i said power sorry he said power's gonna suck his tackles gonna suck and his speed's gonna suck unless it's not a bill steam team on a bill steam team, guys he's going to be phenomenal that but he can't hit like he's gonna suck in the wrong game on a regular team he's gonna be pretty bad in the pass game as well because trust me with that speed you're gonna be getting burned too much from to actually play coverage but my guy's still pretty good not a card for me personally but i could see where he could have value on certain teams now moving on to the final screenshot we got lofa tadapu right here middle on back for the seahawks 98 overall he's got 85 strength now it costs 32,000 for his final upgrade remember it's gonna be a lot but training really isn't that expensive right now so i don't really care so much about it 88 agility 89 speed so that's where the card gets killed so i hope they just don't have this trend to make these cards ass like you make like these cards are 98 overalls like they should make these at least competitive to where you can think about starting them on your team it seems very so far these cards we've seen today maybe not showing us the best ones but maybe they seem kind of theme team-esque like you wouldn't want him on your team but on a theme team he'd actually be pretty great 93 excel is good 68 catching is low 96 tackles good azu jumping is low the impact block and the block shedding is great actually but the speed is just too low like obviously with john madden and sprint you'll get to 92 but i have middle linebackers right now that currently have 90 to 92 so i could just make them get to 95 96 you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't want to have to go all out just to get them to an average speed i'm just gonna be waiting i think patrick willis will be getting that speed upgrade so for me personally i'll probably be the middle linebacker i wait for more than likely but this wasn't bad so far these are pretty good now going back to the first screenshot again we're doing all these coming tomorrow so we have to see his full stats still because we only saw some we saw his full stats for the most part we want to see his stats his stats his stats his stats now it's a rank him personally who i think will be useful i think edge nor will be one of the best personally because he's going to be just a well-rounded lineman probably a cheaper cost than usual can't go wrong with lineman number two probably pro David Carr's probably going to be a solid quarterback, honestly. I think he's been pretty solid. Like, it's really hard to the 98 overall quarterbacks really mess him up. He's probably pretty solid. Then I think Joe Jervisius. I think he might be slow, though. I feel like they're going to kill his speed, so that's why I'm kind of hesitant to put him at three. But I'll put McCordy at three. I'll put him at four. I'll put uh, Micah Hyde at five. And I'll put uh, Lofa at last because I feel like he's going to be way too slow at linebacker. But if he if he gets to speed, like, if he gets, like, a 95 and he can get to, like, a 98, and he has height and some catching stats, could be Vincent Jack Jackson. I don't know why I feel like he's tall. I feel like he is, but... That's pretty much about it, guys. So let's get back to the Madden screens. Close up this video. A lot of you guys have been asking about positional heroes. Just want to check in real quick. We, if it had came out last year, it would have been last week. They are kind of behind. Could it be the whole stay in place stuff? We know quarantine going on. Could that be what's delaying us? We really don't know just yet. Should it have been out already? Probably. So I'd imagine it's coming out either this week or next week. Hopefully, unless they completely ditch positional heroes this year, which they've been doing for a really long time. So I really hope they don't go that route. But that's about it, guys. Let's get back into the rest of this video. Hopefully, it comes pretty soon. But it remains to be seen. We're, 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 we're hoping soon, at least. That is all for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you think of these new power expansion players. Guys, I'm excited for this overall. Again, you have to remember, everything, this is just the bread of the promo. Like, there's the bread. There's still the entrees to come. They always do this. When things first come out, they give they, they start you slow. Like, Bowman was like kind of a banger and then a slow week. Trust me, like, two or three weeks when they get their hands on all this. And they start getting things going. You might, you might have seen some cool things like maybe Gardner Minshew expansion, 98 overall from the theme diamonds, like cards that like you kind of think would be fun to play with, but you never really got a chance to. I'm telling you, there could be so much potential for this if they really get it going. So hopefully things get going right with this day. But guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.